uh, for the election of a Member of Parliament for Staley Bridge and Hyde on Thursday the 7th of May 2015. So I, Stephen Pleasant, being the returning officer at the above election, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Flynn Peter Anthony, Liberal Democrat, 1256. McManus Angela Louise, UK Independence Party, 7720. Reynolds Jonathan Neal, Labour and Cooperative Party, 18447. Riley Martin Stanley, Conservative Party, 11761. Ross. <laughs> Ross Jenny, Green Party, 1850. The ballot papers issued were 41235, which gave a turnout of 58%. And I do hereby declare that Jonathan Neil Reynolds is duly elected. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, thank you, returning officer. Thank you to our brilliant election staff for the shift you've just put in and thank you to the police for securing this free and fair election. Can I also of course thank my opponents Martin uh, and Jenny for their candidacies. I think they've done their parties and the constituency proud and they deserve a round of applause too I think if you wouldn't mind. Right. Like any sitting MP I had come here tonight hoping to be re-elected and to have done so in such a fashion doubling the majority on what has clearly been a very, very difficult night for the Labour Party is very special indeed. But I recognise the personal significant endorsement that comes with that, and I will not let those people down. I'd like to thank in particular my superb agent, who is the architect of this victory, Councillor Jim Fitzpatrick. Could you give him a round of applause, please? And of course, the brilliant, the brilliant Staley Bridge and Hyde Labour Party, who are simply amazing. I'd also say, I didn't win this election today, quite literally, uh, I didn't win it this month, I won it over the last five years and I'd like to partic particularly thank my absolutely superb parliamentary team, Jan and Adam and Jason and Tom for being absolutely brilliant. You can't be a good member of parliament without good people who work for you and they are the best. And of course, most of all, I'd like to thank my wonderful wife and partner, Councillor Claire Reynolds. Many of you know we have now four children, including one who is here tonight. We've had three children in the last parliamentary term, something I'm not intending to repeat, I have to say, <laughs> in the next one. But quite simply, to, to paraphrase Ginger Rogers, she does everything I do, but sometimes backwards with a baby strapped to her. She is amazing, and none of it, none of it would be possible without Claire. <laughs> I've been as our other successful candidates have said, been elected tonight to do a job that I love for an area that I love by the people that I love. And the warmth I've received as a sitting MP running for re-election has been fantastic. But I always believe this, that election victories are not a time for hubris, they're a time for humility. We face very big challenges in Tameside, challenges about skills, of health, of transport, of jobs. And I genuinely believe from what I've seen myself and heard from my constituents that those challenges have become greater over the last five years, that the dangers to people have become more significant. And I have to be honest and say, whilst I acknowledge the, the scale of the victory the Conservative Party has won tonight, I am frightened for the future of this borough and what it holds. But I will always say that I will continue to fight for every part of this constituency and everyone in it, whatever the makeup of the government tomorrow and the ownership of 10 Downing Street. You've again put your faith in me, one of your own and I'll never let you down. Thank you very much. Yeah.